Hi Virgo, welcome to your spirit messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at what spirit wants to tell you right now. So we'll probably get a lot of different messages here. Maybe sometimes one big message, sometimes it's several small messages. Uh, sometimes each message is uh, individual. So take it how it resonates for you. Every message may not be for you, so please do keep that in mind. This is the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading. It's not a private reading. So welcome, Virgo. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So we're going to get three oracles from each deck. Then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. See what messages are for you. Um, so like I said, only take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for Virgo at this time. For the general collective so it's not a private reading but if you would like a private reading all that information is down below in the description box so feel free to check that out lots of stuff down there uh decks i'm using social media your playlists are down there so if you like to go back and watch past readings i do consider them all timeless so you can go back and watch uh, love general you can find the spirit messages under the general um, playlist I do consider them timeless, so if you see some, I'd say watch it anyway. All right, and if you're new, you can check out my channel, and if you like what you see, feel free to, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe. All that great stuff would be greatly appreciated. And if you do, thank you, and welcome to the family. You get about four readings a month. They're all different, so there's something for everyone. And uh, the bonus readings, I may be changing that up a little to the uh, most viewed uh, readings from the previous month instead of doing each sign as I do have a limited amount of time since I am still working I am an essential worker so I do have a full-time job uh, other than doing this so someday in the future my goal is to do this full-time so let's see what we have for Virgo the three most important messages for Virgo so we have the unicorn we have sort of like a mystical mythical theme this uh, month we have fairies mermaids and unicorns Let's see for Virgo what your most important messages are right now from Spirit. What you need to know, Virgo. All right, so we have new opportunity. Ooh, somebody may have a new opportunity coming your way. It could be a job, a career, something in your career, money, finances, and a relationship. Uh, could be anything. So we get into the tarot. If you are waiting on an opportunity or... Um, going for a no, new opportunity or you may have a new opportunity coming your way when you least expect it you may not even see it coming for some of you we get to the tarot we're going to clarify so we have be honest with yourself so this is about uh being honest about situations people places things around you um you know not covering anything up not you know lying to yourself, saying, oh, no, no, when, you know, it may be yes. So this is a need here to really, really be honest with yourself in your situations, your environment, how you truly feel. We have here higher consciousness. So some of you could be going through a spiritual awakening or becoming very spiritual, trusting in your gut, your higher knowing and intuition um, kind of energy also. Getting like astrology, maybe some of you are getting into um, astrology or learning about um, like the cosmos and, you know, stars and all that kind of energy, like outer world energy is what I'm getting also. All right, so let's see what the mermaids have to say. So we have pay attention, notice repetitious signs in your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. And we have here a higher consciousness and pay attention. So really needing to pay attention to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Uh, signs, symbols, uh, synchroni synchronicity is going on around you. Uh, events happening around you. Really needing to place it all together. Keeping, maybe journal some of you. I'm getting like keeping a timeline of a synchronicity of events that keep happening to you. So you can see the pattern and exactly what's happening. Uh, maybe even your dreams um, or events that are happening in your life. Maybe you're feeling a little confused. Um, 
about all the energies around you right now, and that's why we have Be Honest With Yourself. So I think if you keep a journal or a timeline or, or something like that, or like take notes of all these energies, I think it'll help you better understand what's going on so that you can be more honest with yourself. Also, kind of an odd message, but that's what I'm getting with that. So let's see here. We have, what's your thoughts? It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So you may be fearing um, these things that keep happening to you and you're not exactly sure what direction to go in, what is the universe doing, why is it pushing me in this direction, you know, having that fear, worry, anxiety, uh, getting maybe in low self-doubt, uh, self-esteem, uh, a low vibration, thinking maybe that you can't do something or you can't do that or you can't do this when you can. So it's important to stay in high vibration and to have positive thoughts and affirmations um, because that will only help you if you stay in a negative mindset in any way, shape, or form, or being pessimistic, or anything like that. That reflects back to you, because you see the mermaid here looking at the reflection. So whatever you put out into the world reflects back to you. If you're putting out negativity, low self-esteem, pessimistic energy, that reflects and comes back to you. So the more you're in a high vibration, you stay in a positive mindset, doing positive affirmations, meditation, or whatever here that energy will come back to you and only think about what you desire not what you fear so let's see what else we have here divine magic extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now expect miracles exactly I think the universe is working behind the scenes here you can't see it but whatever's going on for you um, this could be like one big message but whatever's going on for you if you don't understand it you're fearing it uh, whatever here just trust in the divine plan, trust in the universe that it has a plan for you and it's trying to push you in that direction or push you into something new or whatever it is for you. And you can expect a miracle and divine shift, divine change, divine magic. And with the moon here, sometimes you can't, ex you can't see the path clearly. You don't know the path and you have that fear, worry, anxiety because it's not totally illuminated yet. But the universe is working on that divine master plan. So just trust in that. What do we have from the unicorns? One step at a time. Exactly. Lots of little steps make big dreams come true. Here's the rainbow for luck, expansion, happiness, joy at the end there. So one step at a time. So don't try to make a big leap all at once. Little baby steps as you go. And little baby steps leads, in the end, to you to that big step. So take your time. Don't rush. But we do have luck and expansion here. One step at a time. Grandparent. You have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. So some of you maybe get support, guidance from a grandparent, some way, shape, or form, a very wise elder. It's been through a lot in their life, and they have a lot of wise advice, experience, knowledge to share with you. So reach out, you know, if you haven't been reaching out to anybody about whatever this journey is for you, reach out to that person. And it could be somebody who is like a grandparent, an older, um, wise elder or something like that. It could be like a mother or father figure or grandparent kind of figure. If they're not blood grandparent, that doesn't matter. Reach out, you know, maybe you know they've been through a lot. They've been through life's experiences and you're like, wow, I could really gain a lot from that person. Maybe you've been afraid to reach out, especially if it's like a new connection. Reach out. And uh, I, I see the bond strengthening here. Some of you that have a grandparent that have passed over, um, that bond can never be broken. They're always with you. Because you see, they're like watching over you. Because this is a unicorn flying and this one isn't. So you haven't yet gained your wings, but they have, and they're still watching over you until you gain your wings and can take flight. But it's one step at a time until you learn how to take flight. And they are constantly over you, watching you, guiding you, helping you. They're always with you. Wow. And then we have here, imagine. What would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? So definitely here for some of you, this could be a wish and a dream that you're hoping for. Maybe you're not seeing it come into fruition yet and you're a little worried here, you know, with these thoughts, these negative thoughts that, okay, this isn't going to happen. But, and it definitely could be a new opportunity. This is like coming into, merging into one big message. So for some of you, this could be one big message. 
that there is a new opportunity coming in or you are on that journey. Um, but maybe you're a little unsure, so, you know, it's time to pay attention to everything so that you can be clear and honest with, you know, yourself and your intentions. Again, listen to your higher knowing intuition. Again, I'm getting some of you may be getting into astrology or um, planets or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like the Milky Way and like learning all about that. I can't even think right now, but learning all about that energy out in the universe, universal energies. Some of you are starting to um, learn about that and raising your you know awareness and like educating yourself. Uh, let's say like planetary alignments and all that kind of energy. So really pay attention here. Divine magic is working one step at a time. Somebody here is supporting you or can support you. Don't, re don't be afraid to reach out and imagine what it'd be like one step at a time if this new opportunity came into fruition. So let's clarify with the tarot. So let me just keep repeating myself, but this really looks like one, one big message, but we'll see. For Virgo. Let's see what's going on here for Virgo. Let's very interesting here. Clarify this energy for Virgo spirit, please. One more shuffle. What is going on with Virgo? What is this new opportunity about for Virgo spirit, please? Thank you so much. New opportunity for Virgo. So we have the world and the messenger of fire. So this is the Knight of Wands in the world. So the Knight of Wands, someone takes action, go-getter, a lot of drive, ambition, passion, world, is cycles closing and new cycles starting. So that's the new opportunity coming in. So you could close out a chapter in your life or a cycle in your life and start a new chapter and taking action on this new opportunity. So I feel like some of you definitely have this new opportunity coming in that will change your world and taking action on it. Or there's some opportunity here you really, really want to take action on. Or something that will come into you where you're like, wow, I can't believe this. This will change everything for me. And taking action on that. Being very fiery and passionate. All right. So let's see what be honest with yourself is for you, Virgo. What is that about? One more. For Virgo. What is this be honest with yourself? So we have the king of air and we have judgment. Exactly. So the king of air is someone who um, is very clear. They have clarity, um, total mental clarity, truth, honest, open communication. So I feel like being honest with yourself, this is having that total mental clarity. But we have judgment here. So there may be something here uh, that you're needing to maybe forgive from the past. If that makes any sense for some of you. Um... This is like answering the call of this new opportunity coming in and having total mental clarity on this situation. So needing to be honest with yourself. Yes, I can do this. Or, you know what, I don't think I can do this. And being honest and not just taking it for reputation or ego or something like that, if that makes sense for any of you. It's to be honest. You know, if you have total mental clarity about answering the call, if you can or can't do it, it's about being honest in this situation and not putting on a mask. So however that means for you. But definitely there's a judgment call here, a decision to be made and answering the call. Will you say yes or no? It's totally up to you. Not wearing a mask, having total mental clarity, either yes or no, and just stating the facts here and being honest. However that means for you. For some of you, I feel like... Uh, you're working in the direction of this new opportunity. For some of you, <clears throat> you're a little fearsome that maybe it's something that you can't do. And maybe some of you are, you know, saying, no, I can't do that. You know, I just, I'm not fit for that. I can't do that. Could it involve like public speaking or being in the, because uh, the king of air is out about open, honest communication where you're like a communicator. So... You know, maybe some of you are like, eh, I don't know if I'm fit for that. You know, realizing that maybe that's something that's not for you. So, but I see uh, some of you maybe if you just go at it one step at a time, that, you know, maybe you can do it. 
So however that resonates for you. So what is this higher consciousness for, for Virgo? One more. What is this higher consciousness for Virgo? So we have the nine of fire and the six of fire. Yeah, so the nine of fire is someone who doesn't give up. They persevere. They're a fighter. Six of air, success, uh, fire is success and victory. Accomplishment. Getting recognition. People paying attention to you and seeing what you can do and not giving up. People will see, you know, listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing about this. That, okay, if I don't give up, if I persevere, if I fight on, I keep going, 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 I will get res recognized. I will have um, acknowledgement. I will be um, successful, victorious, and receive the intention I deserve. This is telling you to don't give up, to keep fighting on. And the star here for like wishes and dreams coming true. Being a star, maybe for some of you. And people recognizing that and being very, very successful. So listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. You believe you can do it. This is telling you to go after it. Don't give up. And you will be that star. You will be um, somebody who's very much looked upon, successful. All right, Virgo. Pay attention. Notice repetitious signs in your inner guidance as they can yield valuable information. One, okay. Wow. So we have the Empress. Emperor, Empress, does it matter? And the Two of Water. So the Two of Water is about union, uh, unions or just partnerships, relationships of any kind. Could be work, career, finance, lovers, whatever here. But Empress, this is knowing your value and your worth. Your heart, you know, birth of something new, uh, growth, expansion. Um, she embodies all the energy of the tarot deck, basically. It's like the mother of the deck, all the queens. So the two water here uh, can be like a partnership with the divine, you know, seeing the signs and symbols going, you know, around you here. And be becoming uh, aligned with your true self, your true purpose, having that total alignment with yourself, or being in harmo harmonious partnerships with those around you, whatever it may be. Because you know your value and your worth. And listening to your inner guidance. Because they can give you this information that you're seeking from the universe with the Two of Cups here. So this is like divine union here with the Two of Cups. So pay attention to that. Messages from the universe. Alright, so what's your thoughts? It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. Let me take these. So we have the Nine of Air and the Page of Water. Exactly. So here is the Nine of Air, which is stress, worry, fear, anxiety, kind of energy, uh, low self-esteem, self-doubt. So that's the fear. Here's the Page of Water. So this is, um, you know, communication. Apologies, if that makes sense. Uh, again, I feel like this is the universe trying to send you positive affirmations, uh, loving energy kind of um, communication. Getting you to focus on what you desire and being in a more positive mindset. I mean, the page of water, water can be about emotions, feelings. Again, can be over-emotional kind of energy also. So a lot of water here in the mermaid is a lot of, a lot of water here, very emotional. Um, but again, the page... Again, is that loving, peaceful, joyous, harmonious communication? But having uh, stress, fear, and worry, anxiety here. So only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Being more in a positive, harmonious mindset and listening to your guidance from within the universe, your intuition. Water is very much intuitional also. That's what I'm getting with that. So that kind of fits right in there. So let's see what divine magic is for you, Virgo. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation. Right now, expect miracles. Right. Let's see. So we have the Queen of Earth, and we have the Five of Fire. So the Five of Wands is about challenge, change, uh, conflict. So, and here's the Queen of Earth. So very stable, grounded. King or Queen doesn't matter. Stable, grounded, practical, smart, and wise. Growth, abundance independent and self-sufficient for the long term. A business owner or, you know, very smart. Five of 
uh, fire here. So again, you could talk about conflict, inner conflict, outer conflict. So again, I feel like you have conflict here, not knowing what to expect, not seeing, you know, the stability coming in, that you will be stable, rounded, secure, confident for the long term. So it's telling you here, if you have this inner conflict or whatever here, just know you have this queen of king or queen of earth coming into you where you will be stable, grounded, secure, confident for the long term, but remain smart, practical, wise, growth, abundance. This is the miracle coming in for you, being that king or queen of earth, very self-sufficient for the long term. One step at a time. Lots of little steps make big dreams come true. For Virgo, please. What is that about? For Virgo. Yeah. Okay. One more. So we have the four, fire, and the nine of earth. So there you go. One step at a time will lead you to this nine of earth. Very independent, stable, secure, grounded. It's like the... It's almost the same thing as like the Empress. <laughs> But uh, take care of yourself. Have everything you need to take care of yourself. You have your money, your career, your finances, your stability. You know, you look good. Very, very self-sufficient. You know, not needing to worry. And the four of fire here, four of wands. Happy home and family life. Very stable home life. Very grounding home life. Being fiery and passionate. Celebrating ceremonies. Marriage. Some of you got a marriage coming in or you are married. Very stable home life coming in and it's one step at a time will lead you to a very stable home life and taking care of yourself and never having to worry having everything you need wow so one step at a time okay so let's see here grandparent you have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken for some of you it's a pastor over loved one still watching over you till you gain your wings till you are in this nine of earth energy being the emperor or empress and they're always with you guiding you some of you need to reach out to this person. All right, so what do we have here? So we have Messenger of Earth and the Hierophant. Oh, my God, exactly. So this is the Knight of Earth, taking action but being slow, practical, wise, cautious, thinking things through thoroughly and taking your time, but making that movement forward. Here's the Hierophant. So, again, it could be someone who's very uh, spiritual, it could talk about spirituality, faith, religion, um, somebody of wise counsel, uh, moralities, value, that kind of energy. Um, could talk about marriage, a commitment also. But I'm getting more of a person who is of an elder person who could be like this grandparent kind of energy who is very spiritual or just religious or has a lot of faith who has a lot of wise advice to give. This can be a teacher. This can be, you know, anything of that energy. Like a wise counsel. And here's this person enabling you to make this smart, practical energy and decisions to move forward in your life with a lot of practicality and wise decision-making. Wow. So definitely coming out there. Wow. All right, so... What is imagine? What would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? What is that for Virgo, please? All right. Feeling these two. I'm oh, feeling these three. Okay. So we have the seven of air. We have the four of water. And we have the four of earth. So the seven of air can be about self-deceit. It can be about um, turning your back on a situation or running away. Or uh, people around you who could be, you know, lying or being deceitful. For water, so being bored, bored, complacent, and feeling like kind of blah. But we have the four earth, which is a very stable, grounded energy. But it's also an energy of not giving, not taking, um, holding on, not letting go kind of energy. Trying to hold on to everything you have to remain stable. So I feel like a tell, you know, you're imagining what would it be like until your dream comes true but until that time you may be having doubts doubting yourself okay maybe i just need to give up and turn my back on this situation it's just not going to come through feeling kind of bored complacent because you don't see it coming to fruition yet and so you're you know scripting saving every little bit uh holding on to your stability in the meantime until this wish comes true 
but I feel like it will. So, but I feel like you're in this energy. Maybe I want to give up. Maybe, um, you know, it's not going to happen. I'm feeling kind of bored and complacent and I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to hold on here, but I don't know if I should. So let's get, I feel like I need one more. What is this? Oh, we got two. So we have the seven of earth and we have the 10 of earth. Wow. So your energy here of, should I keep investing? Should I not invest? Analyzing, assessing, um, analyzing, overanalyzing, invest, to invest or not to invest. Just don't know here. Patiently waiting and waiting, like I said. But now we have the Ten of Earth, Ten of Pentacles. We have the Nine, and now we have the Ten, being totally abundant, secure, growth, expansion for the long term. Never having to worry. Could talk about marriage, commitment, you know, legacy dynamic of a family for generations. Having everything you need and never, ever having to worry. Financially set. Here, again, could be a business owner, entrepreneur, or just being very, very well off here. So you, you're worried, you don't see it coming, but there's a Ten of Pentacles right there saying, you know, this will come into you, and divine magic is working behind the scenes for you, Virgo. This is your energy, Virgo. This is Earth. Wow. All right, Virgo. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you, and as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.